What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again bringing you guys a new video today from my Madden 25 Ultimate Team Series. As you can see, we are currently sitting at 7-0 in the rookie second string division. Again, guys, this is my first time playing Madden 25 Ultimate Team. So, you know, I'm playing through my first season here. I'm actually pretty surprised that I've been able to make it to 7-0. I've played some pretty good teams along the way. But this is going to be the biggest game that we've played in thus far. This is the game that we need to win to move on and get a first round bye in the playoffs. And that'll just bring us one step closer to our eventual goal of competing in the Super Bowl, winning that thing, and bringing that trophy back to Dallas. So let's take a look, quick look at my opponent's team here. I'm playing Immortal Sins. He doesn't have an amazing team, but he has a pretty solid team. Um, I would say it's kind of a budget squad to some extent, but still has some pretty good players here. His corners are pretty good. Um, matches up against my team relatively well, I would say. I think I have a better overall team, um, but it's not dramatically so like it has been in some of the games. So getting things started early here, we, you know we love that outside zone play. I said it works against the computer in one of my previous videos, and guess what? It works against humans too. If you know how to set it up and you know how to follow your blocks, you can pick up big yardage against humans on this play as well if they don't know what they're doing to defend it. So as you're going to see here, my opponent does struggle to defend this play. He's always setting up his linebackers and corners to be kind of inside or on the opposite side of the field for the corners. And that leaves me the opportunity to make big plays. And right here, we hit him with the read option here. Again, we've got QB Walter with 100 speed now with my plus two Trinidad Holiday on the field and my plus two Jim Schwartz card. So both Chris Johnson and Walter Payton are now 100 speed, which just makes this read option almost undefendable. Hit him with the, the outside zone one more time, step into the end zone to make it 7-0 early in this game. In addition to going up 7-0, you can see there Terrence Knighton, his best defensive tackle, will miss quote-unquote the rest of the season. He'll have to use an injury card, in other words, to get him back on the field. Uh, very first play for my opponent, though, he breaks off a huge run, 47 yards, had me worried. I'm not even going to lie. When I saw that happen, I was like, oh no, not this. But thankfully, he was not so good at passing, as you can see there, scrambling around, trying to make plays on the run with his quarterback. Uh, hits me again here with another short run, but it's fourth and six now. And uh, my opponent's apparently decided that he needs to go for it this early in the game. He's going to try and make sure that I don't go up two scores. Takes off with his quarterback, fires it down the field, but Deion Sanders, the newest addition to this team. I haven't updated you guys too much with my team, but Deion Sanders, I do have the 98 Deion Sanders card now. And while I really did love having Altron Werner on the field, it's just not a comparison. Dion is just an amazing cornerback in this game. So we hit him with the screen pass here with Chris Johnson, picking up first down after first down. Now, we're going to hit him here with one more outside zone, and this is going to go for another six points. Chris Johnson completely untouched all the way to the end zone, and you can start to sense that my opponent is feeling a little bit worried here. He is definitely not looking to go down three scores, but he doesn't know what to do. He can't really move the ball on offense. Not that my team has a particularly amazing defense, but we're just locking down his receivers and he can't find anybody down the field. He's looking for the big play and it's not going to happen there. Dominique Rogers Camardi with the interception. He's going to bring this thing all the way back to about the three yard line. And you know what's going to happen from there, guys. With a 100 speed quarterback and a 100 speed running back, the read option is a perfect play here. And QB Walter walks into the end zone to put us up three scores before halftime. Now, the game is definitely not over at this point, but he's got to score here before halftime. He cannot go down into the half down three scores. There's just no way. And he's trying to do big plays here. He's trying to look to gain big yardage, but it just isn't happening. My defense is too good for him. And it is now fourth down with only 15 seconds left in the half. I'm assuming that he's going to go deep here. And so I drop my players back. I'm running that simple two-man under. And I actually almost made a mistake there by intercepting that ball. That would have been bad. Thankfully, Werner apparently stepped out of bounds on the interception. And it gave me better field position because it was fourth down, like I said. So we run one more outside zone. Get down to about the five-yard line and end up kicking the field goal to go up 24-0 into the half. He gets the ball first out of the half this time. And he knows he has to score here. There's absolutely no question about it, and he's probably going to have to go for two as well. Uh, this is a three-score game if he gets two-point conversions on every touchdown, 
but right there you see his quarterback Steve Young does take a fall here and he's gonna miss the rest of this one truthfully though it really wasn't a huge loss for him because he did have Colin Kaepernick who's a pretty good backup in this game and he's a better runner this this opponent that I have here he's a better runner with his quarterback than he is a passer I don't personally understand why he didn't decide to run the ball more with this quarterback but I guess I was kind of locking it down with my linebackers so it's it's easier said than done I guess now again he's gaining decent yardage here on the ground but I know that he has to look for the big play and I know he's going to be running these options and he's going to try to keep it with his quarterback because that's just the biggest way to pick up big yardage in this game when you run options so I'm willing to give him these small chunks of yardage here if he wants to take them because he just doesn't have enough time He's going to have to score three times and prevent me from scoring any touchdowns. So I'm pretty much dropping my defense back at this point and just not letting him get the big play. And uh, that worked pretty effectively for me in this one. Deion Sanders, baby! Yeah! Get on my level, baby! Get on my level! Larry Fitz, you don't have nothing on Deion. It's prime time. It is prime time. And that's going to do it in this game. My opponent had had enough. He quit the game. And I, again, I don't really blame him. When you're down three scores and you can't seem to move the ball, it can be extremely frustrating, and I know how he feels. Thankfully, though, I am able to get that first round by. We are moving right past that wild card round and into the divisional round, so that's great. And uh, the next video, guys, will be that divisional round playoff game, and we're also going to have that special 100,000 coin plus six card giveaway. So if you guys haven't entered that, check out my previous video. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm also going to put it as an annotation here. So check out that video. Thank you guys for watching this. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. If you would please leave a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you could leave a comment and, and subscribe to my channel as well, that would be even better. Thank you guys so much for all the support, though. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.